All right, so I got a couple of comments on how to do this text in the resolve. I did it in my edit where I just like that. And so, yeah, so I'm in my clip, I bring it over here and then we're gonna add a merge and then we have our scene. And then I went on the internet with Google and you type in magazine letters and then you pick a letter. So let's do like a P, do that, go to images. And then you can get any letter that you want. It's just like the ransom notes that you can see in other movies and stuff like that. And then pick some that you want and then just save it to your desktop or any folder that you have. I have like a whole folder full of them. And yeah, so I just pick the letters out from here. So let's just grab a P. I can do like, here we go. And then take that, drag it on. And then we have it here. And then we can just add our text just like this, add our image just like that. And we can add a transform node and then arrange it however we want and we could make other words with it so let me just like you know pull up uh spell out page real quick spell out my name i guess uh p and let's go let's do like this e let's do this e because it's different and then let's do uh j i don't know what the alphabet is f h i here we go j let's do uh, that one right here and then we can connect all this here i trans i like to add transform nodes to it because i want to do animation and then we got something like this. I think that's spelled correctly. Now we can move this around and then scale it down however small we need it. I could be like this. Uh, this could be like that. And we should probably move that over so it all lines up correctly. And then we have our text like this. And then I could just realign how it looks or not. Let me add a background to this. And then, so we have something like that. And then now we could merge it with this path like this. And now we have nav it on top and then we could scale this down if you want that, put it here. And then, so the way I did the animation is I did, I just keyframed it, rotate it, so angle right here. Let's pick it like 11, do three. I went three frames, so I think you're supposed to go like five or six, make it look the best. And then keyframe again, so that five, then go the other way. Let's get rid of the negative. And now it's angled the other way and then let's do another six frames will be like or five frames will be at 10 and then we have our uh angle just like this and then we can highlight these nodes and then click the set loop button and so now it sets a loop so now this will go back and forth just like that and that is a little bit slow so i'll, I'll shorten it up a bit move all these keyframes over by one this down by another keyframe like that so now it's uh, a four frame gap that's a little fast but i don't know it these are four or five frames something like that i think that'll work and then i can just copy this parameter on all of them i can actually just go to the next node the angle and then connect to and then find the node that we have it on so it's gonna be a transform seven and then connect it to the angle and that'll, that'll also do the same animation just like this and just do the same thing all for that if you want them uh the letters to be offset for different uh, for different angles so we just do this and mix it up put that there readjust our positions we could keyframe on this instead and make our own animation so for it we need to go that way two three four five keyframe keyframe again and go the other way one, two, three, four, five, and do it again. Set this to a loop just like this. And then we can connect our animation from transform nine, the angle. And now we have our animation just like this. And the animation will all be the same for all of them. And yeah, that is, that's basically it. Getting an image, transforming it with uh, something like this, and then merging it back on top of your footage.